Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Kellen here from Starter Systems, and welcome to another MX Bikes progression video. And today, I'm gonna have a go here on Washougal, um, which I've played a few times before, but so far I've been pretty bad at it. And I'm also gonna play in third person for a little bit, just uh, to try to get a little bit more used to the third person thing. Uh, I'm just not used to this whole clutch thing. But here we go. Off and running at Washougal MX Bikes. You guys may have watched the first episode where uh, I played Bud's Creek and I uh, felt like I did pretty well on that video. This one, I'm gonna struggle with. I am not very good at Washougal and or really any track in this game other than Bud's Creek, so uh, be prepared for it to not look very fun. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to do the best I can and the whole point of this series anyway is to try to get um, a little bit better at the game, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to learn the track along the way, maybe learn a little bit of new techniques here and there about trying to attack the track in this game. Um, you're gonna occasionally hear a very loud F-16 jet fly overhead. I live pretty damn close to a uh, Marine Corps air station. So they're doing some uh, practice runs right now, I guess, and it's not quiet, that's for sure. <laughs> but hopefully it doesn't interrupt the video too much and you guys will be able to uh, watch this mostly in peace um, but yeah MX bikes beta 7 was just released um, it was about a week ago now and I was gonna do a video last week in this uh, to talk about the new release of beta 7 but uh, just never got around to it so now I'm doing it this week instead and uh, I don't know all of the changes but I do know that a couple new tracks were added and um, I know that uh, the 20, I believe it's the 2014 Las Vegas Supercross track was one of the tracks that was added. Um, Mantova or Mantua in Italy was also added. And then he already had, Pibosa that is, already had um, Madeli Basin in the game, but now he released like a Motocross the Nations version. So all these tracks I assume at some point I will play in a video. Um, I tried the Vegas Supercross track, but Supercross in this game is really challenging. So I think in terms of progression, I'm just gonna try to learn to actually play the game before I get that far along. Um, so don't expect me to do the Supercross track anytime soon, but I might do it soon, we'll see. Right now I'm just trying to get used to the national tracks and get used to the feel of this game, really. it's. It's a big challenge, this game, and like I said in the first video, it feels like learning sim all over again. Not quite as uh, tough right out of the gate, I would say, but I can already tell that there's going to be a lot of um, really challenging things about this game that I'm going to have to learn as I go along. I got the uh, problem that I had where my sticks were inverted, up and down solved. I was basically just an idiot and had them input backwards. And I didn't really understand why, but then uh, I had a couple guys explain it to me, Marcus Beasley being one of them, so cool of them to jump in and help out a little bit. And overall, the first video of this progression series got some pretty good reviews, so I wanted to uh, continue it going, try to learn a little bit more about the game, and have a little bit of fun playing Washougal in the meantime. And so far, it's, it's going decently, I feel. Um, haven't crashed yet. Fortunately, I'm really really bad in the roller section. That's something that I'm gonna definitely have to like learn as I go along is what I'm doing wrong in rollers and whoops or really just like really quick connected jumps in general because I can do like these tables These small little doubles are pretty easy the sky shot I keep messing up, but I, I've been able to land it a few times no problem But then when I get to this roller section, I'm just a mess and I don't really know what I can do differently uh, other than I guess rhythm it a little bit better. Yeah, but see, just an absolute mess. So here we go with the resetting, which I'm not good at. The problem is my clutch is a button, and I, from what I can tell, you pretty much need to have a, a, a clutch that you can actually feather out in this game, but I don't really know what button I can put it on because I already have my leaning all of my leaning on my right stick and my uh, I guess I could put it I could put it as the up on the right or I'm, I'm sorry on the left thumbstick 
put it as up so that I can feather a little bit better, but then I have the potential to turn the bars a little bit easier too. Because my front brake is my left trigger, and you need the front brake to be like a featherable button so that you can slow down without going over the bars, which is very hard to do. I've gone over the bars a lot of times playing this game already. But yeah, I'm just, I can't seem to figure out a good control scheme that I'll be able to let out the clutch and not loop out every time I reset, basically. Ugh, getting kicked bad there. I'll try to double this. Oh, ambitious. I do, <laughs> I, I'm not the fastest rider in real life and I've definitely had some very sketchy moments riding in real life. Fortunately, I've never had anything too major happen, knock on wood, but um, <laughs> I do like the kind of adrenaline that comes with this game because when I start having like a sketchy moment, I just go into like full panic mode like I would in real life, <laughs> um, which is usually not the ideal thing to do in real life, but it's just what I end up doing. I need to learn how to use the clutch in midair too to when I want to tap the rear brake. Can I hard shift down to midair? Um, kind of, I guess. It doesn't really help though. Tapping the rear brake definitely will level the bike out more, but kind of is annoying. All right. So that time I have to like literally press the clutch in and out several times as a button to get the bike to start rolling forward, which is a little frustrating. I'm gonna go into first person here for a little bit. Oh, I need to pull a tear off. I don't think I have my tear off button mapped. I just had to reconfigure my controller. So I think this is just gonna be a dirty screen for a little bit. Yeehaw. <laughs> this is this is just looks so bad. I'm happy that I'm able to at least play this game because like I said when I first started playing it almost three years ago now when I tried it the first time, I was crashing every time. Like just couldn't even get the bike to start rolling without crashing. So now I'm at least able to connect lines, put laps together, whatever you want to call it and not crash as often as I used to, which is nice. And I am very undecisive so far on whether I'm gonna play this game in first or third person, because I liked first person a lot when I first started playing it, but now I'm starting to grow into the not liking the non-ability to see the bike as I ride things, so damn it. Looping out up horsepower hill, this is gonna be a nightmare. I might as well just kill it and let it roll backwards. Come on. Come on. Turn around. Let's go to the bottom of the hill and start over here. Turn around and get a little bit of a drive. Uh, front flipping. <laughs> Tried to lean a little bit forward there. Oop. Saw the bike. I mean, the, the, the real attractive part of this game is just how uh, simulated it is with just the dynamics of like getting the bike started, shifting into gear. Like Sim, for example, MX Simulator, which is really not as close to a simulator as it used to be. Um, you know, neutral, or there really isn't neutral on the game. There's just first gear and then upwards. So it's kind of annoying because in real life, you know, the bike stalls and um, first gear is down, second gear is up from neutral. Theoretically speaking, neutral is in between first and second. And to get going from a crash, you actually have to press the clutch in and shift back down into gear or hold the clutch in to get the bike started while in gear. And then, you know, feather the clutch out to roll away just like you would in any normal crash in real life. So I like that realistic aspect of that, but everything else is just so challenging. The physics are mind-bogglingly hard to get used to. 
I'm getting there, but I'm just not really quite there yet. And I think it's going to be quite a while before I'm really there in terms of the physics, but coming around slowly. Let me tuck inside here. I haven't tried going inside and then getting a rolling start into this. And it didn't work. <laughs> well, let's go back to third person, try to ride like this for a little bit. It's almost worse in third person being able to see the bike because the bike's physics are so like jumping around and doing weird things that you kind of don't expect them to do. Oh, saved it. <laughs> so even that, like I feel like I overreact to some like small little non slide out type things too often in this game, but I don't know, it's just, just part of the learning process I guess of trying to pick up the game figure it out understand the physics everything like that oh, blew the corner a little bit Ah, I really want to be able to crank into that turn and double that section. Get up. Damn it. Uh, yeah, this whole button clutch thing is something I got to figure out. I'm going to probably change around my buttons uh, for the next video so that I can have a feathered clutch and my restarts aren't atrocious every time. Can I get to the inside of this corner? I just, it's physically impossible, isn't it? Yeah, well, now I'm really stuck. Oh man, the bike is just gonna be... Turn. There it is, up, up, up. Rode out of it. <laughs> I also saw some people talking about how the stability help thing, which I turned down to 80%, I shouldn't have done. I should have left it at 100, but now I don't know how to get it back. So it's just stuck at 80. It will not allow me to change it upwards or downwards. I don't know if that's part of the beta 7 update or what, but really just uh, kind of struggling to get everything figured out. Oop, laid it down. Get up. Up, ah, stalled it again. I really should start doing a stall counter in these videos because I've stalled the bike just from getting up and trying to restart it so many times. Let's try to get a big whipper tail off if I can. Yeah, that looked nothing like a whip. <laughs> oh man, this is atrocious. This is way worse than the first gameplay, which honestly was kind of good. I had a lot of people saying that I'm actually not too bad at the game. So far, I'm proving everybody wrong in that statement. I'm just not good at this game. But that's the point of learning, is to try to get better. I'm just gonna bonsai through these Washuga whoops and see if I can't make it. Just try to work the bike. Triple, 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 oh, oh, made it and hit the finish and I don't even know what happened. Okay, um, so we're going to go ahead and wheelie out. Best lap time, 226, which is nearly a minute faster than what I was doing before I started this video. So progress, you know, progression, that's, that's part, of the, the, part of the whole name of the game here, if you will. So I'm a little bit excited about that. Last time a 319.9, not really cutting it. I'm gonna try to do one more lap though. I'm not trying to make these videos terribly long, I'm just trying to show you guys, I guess, where my level is at. Because I do play this game moderately in between these videos. It's not like this is the only time I play this game. But uh, this is when I try to do the most that I can with like testing stuff out and just doing s different things in general to try to get used to the physics, I guess. Alright, we're gonna double this guy. Oh, nailed it! Nailed it! Oh man, that was really sketchy, but I nailed it. Up, oh, up, oh, swap ditties. 
And we're down. All right, let's see if we can get this turned around and not clip the tough blocks. Part of the toughest thing about the Vegas track in this game, the Vegas Supercross track, is that the tough blocks are concrete. I mean, you can't even kind of move them, and they're all just a rock-solid object. So you, it's kind of a pain in the butt, because the second you get a little sideways or messed up, which obviously is happening a lot to me in this game, um, there's just no coming back from it. Like, you just are into the tough blocks, and then it's over. Oh, sending it. Oh, man. That was, a, that was an ambitious attempt. Restart. Restart. Let's try to get another whipper tail off here. Last lap, big whipper tail time. Yeah, that was just atrocious again. <laughs> the, the, seriously, the whip I did at Bud's Creek was like not bad. And then, yeah, these are just not good. But yeah, this is a progression for anybody that's never seen this. This is basically me trying to learn how to play a very challenging game called MX Bikes, which is one of six games that are going to be pretty much non-stop played um, in the upcoming year, 2018, coming around the corner. MX Bike Sim, probably more Reflex. We'll also play uh, MXers ATV All Out, MXGP3 and or 4 if it comes out, and Supercross the video game. So many games that are going to be on this channel, you guys are just going to be rubbed raw when it comes to motocross. It's going to be ridiculous. Um, but yeah, progression, episode two in the books, a little bit of Washougal gameplay. I think next I'm going to come back with uh, maybe even a custom track. I might try to get on the forums and figure some stuff out. Or maybe I'll just play one of the other uh, standard tracks that come with it. Maybe a little bit of Madly Basin. Uh, maybe Mantua I'll play. Or maybe I'll just uh, sack up and try to do Vegas and just fail miserably over and over and over again. Who knows? But I appreciate you guys for watching this video. And, you know, anybody that has any advice that you'd like to offer me about how to play this game better or just anything in general, please don't hesitate to tell me I'm the worst person ever in this game in the description or in the comment section below. Because I just want to learn. I really just badly want to learn how to play this game. Because I love some of the videos I've seen of guys actually playing this game well. It looks like a fun time. And while I'm getting there, it's, it's going to be a long process. So thanks again for watching. I hope to see you guys in our future videos. But for now, Kellen on Start Your System saying so long for now.